Keeping it local this morning, suicide is a leading cause of death in the U.S. The latest figures from the Centers for Disease Control show nearly 46,000 people took their own lives in 2020. That's about one death every 11 minutes. But this Saturday was National Survivors of Suicide Loss Day, and many who have lost a loved one in that tragic way united at Park West Medical Center. WATE 6 on your side reporter Wes Cooper has their story. This is what changed everything for me. My son took his life in 2012, and life has not been the same since then. For these suicide loss survivors, they take things day by day. I lost a cousin in her early 30s, and she really meant a lot to me. And I think about her many, many days. March 13, 2019, um, I lost my brother uh, to suicide, uh, combat veteran. PTSD. It can be difficult to talk about, but this group believes healthy conversations about suicide can provide comfort for those it affects most. The pain may still be there. It's something we need to learn to live with, but it softens over time as long as you're willing to do the hard work of leaning into your grief. And that looks different for every person. It's putting the puzzle pieces back together that have been shattered all over the table, and it's putting it all back together again. Sometimes that takes um, you know, years to be able to do that, but we're here to hope to help with that healing. KPD officer Matt Lawson is a co-responder specializing in crisis intervention. He says he was inspired to join the unit after the death of his brother. Since the unit's been running, we're about up to about 2,000 calls uh, in the going on two years, so about a thousand calls a year. My healing is part of this co-response unit, part of coming to events like this for the Suicide Survivors Day and being able to speak and attempt to help somebody else through, through their struggles and their, their tragedy. We are both survivors of suicide loss, but we also work with Contact Caroline, which is the local provider for the 988 service. I can remember a chat from last week was an 11 year old, you know, who was struggling. Um, but got help through chatting with one of our crisis counselors. All right, Wes, thank you so much. Now, there are support groups available at the Peninsula Lighthouse every second Tuesday of the month to help people who may be grieving work through that pain. We'll have more information on that in this story on WATE.com.